Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a little double upload today because there is some very big information about icon moments being confirmed. Yes, just like last year, EA dropped the dynamic images for all these icon moments, which are probably going to be coming out sooner than you think. We might have icon moments in FIFA 22 this Friday. So I want to take a look at some of these cards. A couple of them already have confirmed stats as well from the leaks, but look at a lot of dynamic images. Uh, some of the new ones look really, really cool. So I want to take a look at those and also talk about how, again, icons this year are definitely not as hype. But these icon moments cards are the, of course, best version that every icon will see this year. And they change from year to year. So there's a lot of hype with them. So I want to take a look at the images that we see here and how it could affect the market as people are probably going to start to sell some icons even a little bit more as we head throughout this week because these icon moments are very very near so if you're excited for the best version of icons to come out in this game this year make sure to hit them up thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new let's look at these images and talk about these cards i'll post the link to this in the description if you want to take a closer look yourself obviously all the icons are in here so we're not going to look at every single one because there's a lot of images but i just want to highlight a few of these and the ones that we know confirm stats of i love these first three dynamic images all with the world cup trophy casillas cafu and Cannavaro. These are all brand new dynamic images for these cards. I mean, Cafu, we even have a stats leak for. We'll take a look at that. But Cannavaro, look at that. That is an insane dynamic image. I love the dynamic images that include trophies, right? It's so, so, so cool. Uh, so I'm excited to see a Cannavaro card. Like, of course, if you think winning the World Cup would be like a pinnacle moment. So hopefully they juice up those cards a little bit extra if they're, you know, flashing back to that moment in time in that icon's career. Now, we're going to start off with a pretty big image and an actual stats leak here. Wayne Rooney. Now, this is a brand new icon to FIBA 22. A lot of people are hyped about this card. That's why I want to talk about him right off the bat. We have an official stats posted for Wayne Rooney. He is going to have 90 pace, 91 dribble, 95 shooting, and 90 physical along with 85 passing. So over his prime icon in this game already, that's, you know, not a huge upgrade, but he is getting plus three shooting to get him up to 95. He is going to get plus one pace, plus two passing. I think it's like plus two, three dribbling and plus one physical. So a pretty solid upgrade. Now, one thing I'll say about this too is with icon moments, EA also does upgrade skill moves and weak foot. We are hoping for some four-star skills action on this Wayne Rooney card. That is would be terrific so that's how our icon moments wayne rooney is going to look everybody's going to want this card and want to try him out um and he's probably going to start off very very expensive when he is dropped in the game but that's a pretty dope looking card for rooney let's keep looking down the list there's a lot of images to get through here robin van percy ronaldinho those are both brand new images never seen before ronaldinho's image looks really really dope um, that's a cool one. We have not seen that image before, so I'm excited for that one. Fernando Torres, we actually have stats for him as well. I think that's very, it's a different image from his card last year in FIBA 21, but it's not too far off. Um, again, you see here, these are the official stats, which this is the thing about icon moments too. Some of the stats are better from the year before, and some of them are not as good. So Torres has higher dribbling than last year. He has 91 dribble, but they, they dropped his pace. So last year in FIFA 21, he had 96 pace and 90 dribbling. This year, he has 94 pace, but they did give him one more dribbling on the card. So maybe that's a little bit um, less hype for, for a moment's Torres um, over his card from last year. They also dropped his physical from 82 to 80. So maybe a bit of a bummer for that card there, but that's how it's going to look. Uh, Makalele has a pretty dope uh, dynamic image. Petr Cech, R9, there's a big one. Uh, it's a new image, never seen that before. One of the things you're going to notice in here, as we see Thierry Henry, that's a new image. But for Pelé, right? This Pelé dynamic image is the exact same one that we saw in FIFA 19 for his card. And it seems like as we're going through a lot of these images, there's, there's some repeats, but a lot of the repeats are from FIFA 19, which was the first year of the Icon Moments. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind that some of these, yes, they're different than last year, but they're also the same to what we had like in FIFA 19 or maybe even FIFA 20. You're going to notice that as we go through a few of these cards here today. So that's Pelé's dynamic. Maradona, I'm, I, this one's pretty cool, right? Uh, Maradona with short hair. That's a pretty interesting dynamic, not one that we have seen before. Cantona looks like a pretty good card. We have stats for him as well. This is one that got an upgrade, 
94 Eric Cantona, plus two pace and plus one shooting compared to his card from last year. A lot of people did this moments Cantona from last year, of course, a new icon, um, five star skills. And this was like one of the first icon moments SBCs that we actually had. So he got plus two pace, plus one shooting. That's a really cracked looking card. That's a W in my opinion. New dynamic image as well. There's Beckham. Gattuso with the bandage around the head. That's kind of a cool image. Uh, Puyol looks so majestic with the flow. Lampard. Gerard. These are all new images. Shevchenko. That's a new one. Here's a duplicate one. Johan Cruyff from FIFA 19. A lot of you guys will remember this card. Uh, I'm pretty sure they released like a Cruyff SBC, which I know I remember doing uh, back in the day. But that Cruyff card looks really dope. Same dynamic image there. Rio looks scary in his image. Uh, this year, that'll be a cool one. Figo is there. Inzaghi. Del Piero, that's a brand new one. Um, Rude Hullet, that's also uh, old from FIFA 19 as well. If we take a look at this dynamic image, of course, that is the exact same one. So Hullet's got the same image. Zidane with a new one. Yashin, same as FIFA 19. Eusebio, same as FIFA 19. Pushkas is right there. Eto looks really sick. Um, yo, Closa looks pretty dope too. Vieira is a new one. Vidic, Kaká looks pretty cool. Xavi, there's a new one. Roberto Carlos. Baggio is the same as FIFA 19. Essien uh, is a new one. But then you have some dupes right here. We have Maldini, Best, and Rui Costa, and Rivaldo. Those are all the same as before. Uh, and Desai. Vanisseroy's might be new as well. Zola, Owen, Keane, Giggs, Skulls. Raul's looks pretty scary. There's Shearer, uh, Trezeguet. Emmanuel Petit, now when he's he's, <laughs> he's looking pretty tough in that image. So that's a dope one right there. I'm a fan of that one. Uh, scrolling down through the list again, Nedved right there. Vandersar with the glove. Nesta doesn't look super special. Crespo looks dope. Litmanen, Mateus, uh, and Balak, I think both. I don't know about Balak actually, but that Mateus for sure is the same as the FIFA 19 version, which I remember I had in my squad as well. Yeah, there's the FIFA 19 Mateus, same as this one. Okocha, Deco, Socrates is the same as before. Stoichkov is the same as before. Luis Hernandez looks new. Um, Butragueno, similar. Bobby Moore, I think that might be a new one. Uh, but a lot of these, Lineker I think is new. Lodrup is old. Bergkamp looks pretty dope. Clivert, Schmeichel, that's a new one. Overmars, I think that might be new as well. Blanc is old. Um, Nakata, Veron, that might be new. Sol Campbell, Guardiola I think is a re-up. Here's, an, here's another one that we have stats for. Ronald Koeman. He actually got a pretty sizable upgrade. Uh, 82 pace on his moments card this year. These are his confirmed stats. 91 shooting, 91 passing, 88 physicality, 93 defense, and 82 dribble. And that's a pretty sizable upgrade. It is the same dynamic image as his FIFA 19 card, of course. But I believe even last year in FIFA 21, he didn't have... Um, he didn't have... He had like 77 or 78 pace. So the fact that we will have... 82 pace this year is very, very nice for that card. Carlos Alberto, that's not a new one. Um, Garincha looks cool. I think Pirlos looks pretty dope, actually. And so does Drogba. Look at that. Those are pretty dope. Dog Leash, we've seen that before. Rush, we've seen that before. Zambrato, we've seen that one before. Um, Ashley Cole, Philip Lam, that one's pretty cool. Schweinsteiger is pretty dope. And then there is Suker. So that's all the images. Again, that link is down below in the description. I think we have a couple more leaked stats. Uh, Van Persie, of course, this is not his dynamic, but 88 pace, 95 shooting, 88 passing, 92 dribble, 77 physical for that card. And then Casillas as well, the one that we saw, he's going to have 97 reflexes, uh, 62 speed, 95 diving. So there's probably going to be some more icon moments leaks as we go throughout this week leading up to the actual cards getting released in this game. Now, how is the market going to be affected by this, right? Again, a lot of icons are already so cheap this year, and, and we were even looking at this on uh, last night's YouTube video. Uh, it's just, you look at a lot of these prices, and it's just, it's insane how cheap some of these cards are. But I really think what you would see impacted the most are going to be some of these primes, especially some of these prime icons um, that are that are that are pretty expensive. You know, some prime icons that are still over 2 million coins. Um, I would keep it. I would keep a watch on these, and then also some of your cards like you know uh, maybe like a baby R9, baby or mid Puchkas, or like a mid Vieira or something like that. Yes, these icons, the prime moments when they come out later on, are going to be very expensive, but still in the same right, um, you know there's going to be a lot of new icons that people want to go out and try. So I think that is going to drop some of these 
primes and some of the other icons already withstanding in this game, I think it's going to drop some of their values. You know, like a, a Eusebio's two, 2 million coins, 2.1 mil. I still think that this Eusebio would drop off a bit with a new one coming out. And of course, some of these icon moments are going to have stats that we have not ever seen before, like some pretty big boosts. Really, really cool cards. You know, how good are they going to make Pushkas this year? How good are they going to make Mateus? Mateus' Momus card always looks disgusting, right? Because you look at his prime, and he's on the verge of getting 90 pace and 90 shooting. And you just look back to the, the Lothar Mateus of last year. This was his card, right? He had 91 pace. He had 90 shooting, 85 dribbling, 93 defense. So they give plus twos and plus threes most uh, in these, in most of these stats for some of the icons, but then you had some crazy upgrades last year as well. And this is what we're really going to have to look out for this year is where's Vieira. Maybe I just got to search him up unless I missed him, but I got to find Vieira because Vieira's moments card last year had an incredibly massive upgrade from where it was, uh, in FIFA 20. Yeah. FIFA 20. Look at this upgrade 89 pace on this Vieira. He was 87 pace in FIFA 20, but he had 86 shooting, 84 passing, 87 dribbling, and then 92 defense, 93 physical. So they dropped his defense and physical just a little bit, but then they gave him a huge pace boost from last year. And even from his prime card, look at that, plus six pace and plus six shooting for Vieira last year. So as we look through some of these cards, know that the stats are not all going to be the same. Um, as they were, even if the image is the same. So like on some of these, we had the same dynamic image in, as we did in FIFA 19, like for Kuman, right? But the stats are not going to be the same as we saw the leaked Kuman stats are better than what we had la uh, in FIFA 19, even with that same image. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind is that the stats should be different. Um, and that's, that's where the fun is, right? That's where the fun is with a lot of these cards. So yes, I do expect icon prices to drop off a little bit. What this also means is that we are not very far away from icon swaps too. probably in the next week, icon swaps too would be getting talked about and potentially getting released as well. So you're going to have a lot of icon prices probably dipping a little bit when the moments come out. Now, one thing that I'll mention as well is that they don't release all of the moments at one time. Um, what they usually do is they, you know, release them in waves. They'll release like maybe 30 of them, 30 of them, and then 30. So it'll probably be a two to three week window where they release these icon moments cards in the packs. So one of the ways that you can watch out for this is like, let's say with Wayne Rooney, right? Wayne Rooney is a very hype, very in demand icon card. His prime card, as we just looked, is like 600K, right? Let's say that when they drop the, the first batch of icon moments this weekend or whatever it is, Let's say they don't actually put Rooney in. That might cause some bounce back on some of these icons that don't actually get into packs for the new sets of icon moments as they release them. So that's going to be something to watch out for. And then continue to watch out for like the leaks this week, right? You know, if they say like this year, even though Butro Gueno has a reused dynamic image or something, let's say they're going to release a new version. Um, the, the new version of Butro Gueno is going to come out like this Friday or something. And you take a look at this card and you're like, man, he is going to give him like plus three pace, plus four or five shooting. And they, like if the upgrades are really, really insane and we see that from the leaks or from something that EA posts, then you're probably going to see some more accelerated panic selling on a few of those cards. So it's just about this game is about to turn into, you know, very hype for icons again. Um, I don't really know what promo is coming out this Friday, but a lot of times what EA do is whatever promo they're dropping, they make icons a part of it. And as we said earlier in yesterday's video, again, they're really pushing icons right now. Two icon upgrade SBCs yesterday and two icon player SBCs. They're pushing that hype to you, getting you ready, get you thinking about icons before we actually see the moments drop very soon. So it's a very exciting time of the year. I know these icon moments have changing stats and that's the coolest part about them. But those are the confirmed dynamic images that we just looked at again. That link is down below in the description. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. I can't wait to see icon moments, not just in packs, but also through icon swaps and SBCs. Because last year for icon swaps too, there was an icon moments. Um, there was like icon moments packs, I think, involved and also Icon Moments players involved in Icon Swaps too. They really need to do that again this year too to keep it um, fresh. And just because where the power curve at is in this game, these cards are already so insane. They're going to have to release out those icons and make them decently attainable so that people actually want to go out and use some of them 
in this game instead of other special cards that are already so juiced. So that's a lot of information about Icon Moments. If you did enjoy the video and of course you're hyped for Icon Moments, hit a thumbs up. Of course, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.